What's going on people, it's Greg here with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to save a range as a PDF and then attach that PDF in an email message. So let's get into it. All right, so on the left, got my VBA editor. On the right, got my data and the folder we're gonna be saving this data as a PDF in. So um, our sub is gonna be called save PDF and attach in email and then we'll declare our variables we're gonna have um, our app as object out mail as object we're gonna have WS as our worksheet variable um, we're also gonna have one for our PDF so PDF range that's gonna be a range. And we're gonna have our PDF, uh, we'll call it our PDF path, uh, which is what we're, we're gonna get from here. So that'll be a string. All right, so let's set out app equal to create object. And it's gonna be the Outlook application we're using. And then we're going to set out mail equal to out app and then create item zero. All right, so now we can set our worksheet equal to this workbook. So this workbook over here, and we're going to need the sheet name. The sheet name is sheet one. And we're going to set our PDF range equal to WS, which we just declared here. And that's going to be from A1 down to C11. So we're going to have A1, C11, and that'll be our PDF range. All right, let's keep going. So our PDF path, that's going to be equal to, and we'll grab it from here. Uh, right click uh, copy address as text and then uh, quotation and paste it in here <clears throat> so you got it there we're going to use a backslash and then we're running out of space on this line so I'm going to use an ampersand and an underscore to continue on to the next line and the file name let's go ahead and go with something simple let's just call it population data dot PDF so there we go with our path and then now we're going to do PDF range um, and all we're going to do now is we're going to export it so we're going to export this range so export as fixed format this first uh, option here and the type is going to be XL type PDF right here and then we're gonna do a comma then an underscore and move to the next line and we're gonna say file name colon equals PDF path so our file name is literally just this variable right here PDF path and then we're gonna say open after publish we will set that equal to false that way that means we don't want to open the file once we uh, when we save it when we export it actually no let's do it let's make it true so we'll make it true that way it'll open up once it gets exported all right and actually we can run the macro as is so let's do that so there we go and you see the tables kind of off to the left here um, let's let's change that so we can say so before we do PDF range export what we're gonna do is um, let's do a comment align range in PDF and we'll use WS dot page setup dot center horizontally and that's going to be set equal to true so now if we run this 
it's right there in the middle, in the center of the file horizontally. All right, so now that we can see that it gets published, let's go ahead and turn that off to false and continue on to our email. So let's create this email. So we create our email and we're gonna do on error, resume next. So with our outmail, and then I'll end the with. So inside of this, we're gonna do our two. We can send it to team at abc.com. Um, CC, uh, we'll just do no one. BCC, no one. Our subject, let's go with um, country population data and then we'll throw the date in there so we could just say um, ampersand format dates oops and then we can do month month dash day day dash year 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 um, and then here we'll do display. This will display the message before it gets sent out. Gee, sorry about that. Okay. And now with our HTML body, we're going to write our message. And first we'll get our style. So the body style equals, and then we're going to do that there. Apostrophe. Size, you can do 12 font, and then our font family, we can go with uh, Calibri, and then you're going to do another apostrophe, and then that there, and we're going to continue this line since we're running out of space, we're going to do an ampersand and another underscore, go to the next line, and we're going to say, hi team. And let's use a paragraph break to go to the next line. Please see attached PDF file, period. And then we'll do another paragraph break. And then I'll say thanks with the comma and then just a regular break. So BR, Greg. All right. And now we'll end it off with a dot HTML body. Oops, what did I miss? Let's see. Um, oh, sorry about that. Quotation needed right there. So now we're good. Okay. And then here is where we're going to add the attachment. So attachments add. And we want to add the PDF path. All right. So we end our with. And then after we end our width, we're going to want to, on error, go to zero. And then we're going to set both out app equal to nothing. Sorry, both out app and out mail equal to nothing. Okay. So let's see what we got here. Oops, a little typo, let's try to run it again. Boom, just like that. Um, it's to team at abc.com. The subject is country population data with a month, month, day, day, and year, 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 year. And you've got our, we've got our PDF file here called population data. And then it says, hi team, please say attach PDF file, which they can open and it's centered. And just that, like that, this pop, this data gets saved here. Um, the file gets saved here. Um, alternatively, we can, so if we delete this file, if we don't want to save the actual file, we could just do kill PDF path. And now you'll see the file sit here temporarily as it initially gets saved, but then it gets killed. So we'll run it again. 
see it. oh that was happened so fast that it never even you can really see it but it was there for a second <laughs> all right so you can do it alter so alternatively if you don't want to save the file when you uh export the pdf you don't have to but if you want to you can so uh yeah that's all i have for today thank you so much for watching make sure to like comment subscribe have a good one